Welcome to Waters World. I'm Jesse Waters. A huge week at the White House as President Trump claims victory after being cleared of collusion and obstruction in the Mueller report. The president now vowing to go public with the FISA documents used by the FBI to investigate his campaign. I have plans to declassify and release. I have plans to absolutely release. A lot of people wanted me to do it a long time ago. I'm glad I didn't do it. We got a great result without having to do it. They wanted an insurance policy against me. And what we were playing out until just recently was the insurance policy. They wanted to do a subversion. It was treason. It was really treason. If the Republican Party had done this to the Democrats, if we had done this to President Obama, you'd have 100 people in jail right now and it would be treason. This news coming as the 2020 race heats up. So how will the president use this to his advantage? For that, we turn to the manager of the Trump 2020 campaign, Brad Parscal. Brad, so president's going on offense now. He's going to use this Mueller report to bludgeon the Democrats. How exactly is he going to do that, and how big of a part of the campaign will this be? Well, look, I mean, I think the president's right, what you just read there. I mean, for two years, they've been attacking him. No president has ever deserved that, and no president should ever deserve that again, and I hope they do everything to prevent this. I mean, there's families across America that can't even sit down with people uh, anymore and do things because of how much uh, partisan and just how much dividing this is. Are been. you referring to my family? No, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mom is a little upset with the Mueller report. I, yeah. can, uh, I can tell you yeah, that. They, 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 they had sold this narrative so much, um, and so many congressmen and people in the media and so many people have done so much to try to sell this was like it was fact when there was zero fact, zero fact of collusion. Um, it's so amazing. how will he exploit this uh, in the campaign? Is this something he's going to do whenever a Democrat says something? He's going to say, well, you were wrong about that. You're probably wrong you know, about this, too. Look, I, I don't know if there's a tactic that's directly related to, to hey, you lied about this, you lied about that. But look, I think it does show what the Democrats are capable of. I think it shows the false narr narrative they're doing. I mean, I completely think that they are willing to lie 100 percent for anything because they can't fight this president on policy. Right. So you could say, if you were the president... They're not telling you the truth about the border crisis, oh. just like they didn't tell you the truth about Russia collusion. Just like they're not telling you the truth about not uh, about health care. Also, you know, they're saying we're not we're not going to let people with pre-existing conditions. Complete lie as well. Immigration. I mean, if you see the border t this week, it's been horrible. I mean, w w the, the yeah, record amount record of people amount pouring numbers. through. Yes. So the media also took it in between the eyes. Fake news has now been vindicated. You know, for the last two years, he's been criticized yep. very strongly for saying fake news is the enemy of the people. He was right. He was Fake right. news drove this Russia collusion story, and now it's over. What does the media do next? Yeah, it's funny. I have to say one thing. I've worked for this man for years, almost a decade, and I'll tell you, he tends to be right over and over and over again, even sometimes where I go, wait, what? I said, <laughs> but it comes out to be he's right. He, he has an unbelievable in, intuition to understand what's happening. I mean, he's just lived in the presence for so many decades of this, and uh, I think he's going to be right about the things he's moving forward with also, and I, and I, I just can't believe what the media did. I mean, myself, it was just, you know, what, 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 what are you doing? What's the staff doing? And what are all these things? And they were just all fake. The whole thing was, it was fake. so fake. The whole thing was fake. And now they have a huge gaping hole in their programming. I don't know what they're going to do now. Maybe, uh, who knows? It's, it's not up to me. It's up to them. All right. Yeah. So big rally in Michigan uh, Thursday night. You guys are going to try to hit those same Rust Belt states, I imagine. Michigan, yes. Wisconsin, Ohio, Pennsylvania. Tell us about the strategy with the map. So I think that from this Michigan rally, you can also see in the data, just like we saw in the El Paso rally, we saw new people coming, Democrats, 30, 40, 50 percent Democrats. You saw blue-collar Democrats, African-Americans, Latinos. You see him expanding. So this is opening up our map, Minnesota. Michigan come back. Is Minnesota in play? I, I think Minnesota's in play. I think New Hampshire's in play. I think New Mexico's in play. I think Nevada's now back in play. What kind of gives you the sense that those states like Minnesota uh, or New Mexico? Polling data, uh, what's changing, the type of voter that are in those states, what he's done for the economy, the lies uh, and deceit of the, the Democrat Party lying to those people. Um, I think the president is in a very good position in 2020 to open up the map. And I think that that is a great place for us to be and a great place for this president to be. Uh, they play with the data a lot. Um, but I but just like in 2016 when I had the when I was one of the very few people and we were the few people that actually saw the right data, um, we're not gonna listen to their fake narrative huh. uh, data, no listen to their fake 
you know, there were fake stories about other things else. So you're saying if you have a rally in, say, Michigan or something like that, you can see how many Democrats are there, mm -hmm. and you believe 30 percent possibly Democrats well, represented in a rally like that in a state like when they come into the, When they came into the rally in Michigan, just like in El Paso, we require them to get their cell phone number, and we, we connect them back to the voter file. We know exactly how they voted in the past. Uh, wow. what things they do, and uh, we had tens of thousands of registrants. Uh, I believe it was 34 percent of, of the people that came to the Michigan rally were Democrats. Wow. Um, I think that's a significant number. Almost half had only voted once in the last four elections. So um, you're still uh, harvesting new voters, first-time voters, independents, and Democrats. I'm harvesting nearly a million voters' data information in key swing states every month. Um, that must terrify the Democrats. Yeah, we are, uh, put it this way, we are four times ahead of where we were in 2016. I, have, I plan on being six to eight times ahead of, in data. That's tens of millions of records. I hope to have every record for every voter I need by Election Day. Good. Now, what is the data telling you about socialism? The Green New Deal, are people responding to that, or is this a killer at the ballot box? Uh, I mean, look, I, th I think it's a great issue for the president. I think it's just, as he said last, um, as, as he's been saying all week, I think it's, it's, it's incredible how much... Uh, they just wanted a hundred trillion dollars, destroy the economy, turn us into Venezuela. He I, wants to run against the Green New Deal. Oh, yes. Oh, he's, yeah. he's licking his chops. Yeah, I, it, it's like a juicy steak. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean getting rid of cows, airplanes, uh, no more Hawaiian senators. Right. Um, you yeah, know. it's like the Big Mac president running against the vegans. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's not going to fly. It's amazing. And I, you know, I think also bureaucratic run socialized medicine is not the key to the American healthcare system either. Um, I believe that the, the, Moms across America with their children want to keep their private health care and, and make choices. Um, for yeah, their Bernie own wants to get rid of private health care. Yeah, could you imagine the other day? your 12 year old kid sitting in a line like the VA and saying, Well, we haven't determined yet if your child is, is worth living? No, uh, there'd be riots in the streets. Don't mess with moms. Don't mess, don't don't mess with moms. And that's what the it's Democrats are doing. And I think the president understands that private health care is the best choice for um, everybody's, you know. Parents and their children. When healthcare choices have to be made, um, it, it sounds really great when you're when you're 19 years old. But when you really have real healthcare choices, you want private healthcare, and right. you want the people on the other side of the table to benefit from saving your life. How's the president's mood? Uh, he has been a, a very easy to work with this week. He's been very, uh, <laughs> I can see very why. smiley. Yeah, he, um, he been, he's been disciplined, yeah, you know, we've been uh, noticing. I was in the White House with week. He served me hors d'oeuvres. Um, <laughs> that was a first. Yeah, what were uh, they, like uh, uh, pigs in a blanket? Yes, yeah, so little pigs in a blanket. <laughs> Did I get that right? Balls. Yes, it was. You got that was Perfect. one of them. Um, he gave me a Diet Coke. He was, he was very happy. All right. um, it was my first in nine years serving of hors d'oeuvres from the president, All which, right. which says a very good mood. All right, well, he's serving up a lot of the other things for the American people, like jobs and... Yes. Uh, and and strength and uh, helping you know, be, with, uh, you know force tra transfer China, you know uh, intellectual property issues right. in China all these things he's dealing with people don't even understand during this entire attack he still solved more issues than any American president in history all the while being attacked with probably one of the most deceitful and and destructive lies that any president's ever had to deal with now think about it. think what he's gonna do in the next two years without that behind him yeah with six years him. you mean yeah six years of course <laughs> all right Brad thank you very much thank you for having Jesse